Out of this, Bruce Graybill. He is a very busy man. He works part-time at the Holden Police Department, works full-time as a Walmart manager. That takes up most of his time. But his true passion is wood crafting. He started his own business five years ago, but then this past Saturday, his workshop burned the ground. As News Center Maine, Sam Rogers shows us, though, his plan to grow the business hasn't changed. Turning wood into pieces of art. Bruce Graybill is the owner of Ciders Wood Crafting and Brewer a small workforce, but an expanding operation. Yeah, it's um, grown from just, you know, making a few cutting boards a year to um, literally, a, you know, a, few, a couple thousand a year now. Gray Bill also works part time at the Holden Police Department and manages a Walmart full time. But wood crafting is his true passion. He really is an artist when it comes to that because he can put the different colors and the different wood grains together and it's just breathtaking. His wife, Mary, helps wax the cutting boards and manages the website. Mary, Bruce, and their two children spent last Saturday night together in their home. Then, a stranger knocked on the door. I thought she was coming here to buy a cutting board because people come to the house to buy them. But this would-be customer was coming to tell the Graybills their backyard was on fire. Bruce's workshop engulfed in flames, losing thousands. We had approximately $20,000 worth of... Um, uh, merchandise that was just waiting to be sanded. Losing some things that can't be replaced. My dad passed away and he left me numerous tools and so that's the part I've been struggling with the most because I just won't have those. In a time of disbelief, the Graybill family has never felt more loved. Other wood crafters offering me to, um, to bring the tools from their workshops for me to use, offering to help in any way they can, offering to let me use their workshop. At craft fairs, other vendors donating money and even symbols of hope. I just didn't know how many people were out there listening to it and watching his dream grow and rooting for him. And now they're rooting for him even more at a time when we desperately need them to. Support from family, friends and strangers helping Ciders Wood Crafting get back on track. In Brewer. And I do a state of Maine cutting board. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.